The upper jaw, or arch, is referred to as the maxilla, or the maxillary arch. The lower jaw, or arch, is referred to as the mandible, or the mandibular arch. People are constantly amazed at how long teeth actually are. In a normal, healthy individual, you only see about one-third of the total tooth. The portion you see is referred to as the clinical crown. Let's look at the types of permanent or adult teeth. There are four types of permanent adult or secondary teeth. The anterior teeth are made up of incisors and canines or cuspids. These usually have only one root. The incisors are used for cutting or incising and there are four in each arch. Two central incisors and two lateral incisors. There is one right central and one right lateral incisor and one left central and one left lateral incisor. Let's look at each tooth in the permanent dentition using the universal system of identification. Starting in the maxillary right posterior area, we begin with tooth number one, the maxillary right permanent third molar. Tooth number two, the maxillary right permanent second molar. Tooth number three, the maxillary right permanent first molar. Let's take a look at the five sides of an anterior tooth. It helps to think of the sides of an anterior tooth as the same as a tall, skinny box, much like a cereal box. Any tooth in the mouth is similar to a box with five sides above the gum line. All tooth surfaces are abbreviated by the first letter of the word. For example, the incisal surface is also referred to as the incisal edge on anterior teeth and is abbreviated as a capital I. The large flat surface facing out toward your face or lips is referred to as facial, sometimes referred to as labial. The abbreviation is F. The large flat surface directly opposite the labial on the tongue side is referred to as lingual, abbreviated L. The surface nearest the midline or middle of your body is called the mesial, abbreviated M. The surface which is farthest distance away from the middle of the body is referred to as distal, abbreviated D. Although it's not a surface, dentists will refer to the area of the tooth near the gingival tissue as the gingival area of the tooth. The gingival area circles the entire way around the tooth and is abbreviated G. This is tooth number 31. The four cusps on the tooth are the mesial buccal, the mesiolingual, the distobuccal, and the distolingual cusps. On this tooth number 31, the mesiolingual or ML cusp has fractured off and is missing. On this tooth number 19, the entire lingual wall has fractured away from the tooth. Again, this tooth was severely weakened from the large restoration or filling. Both the mesiolingual and distolingual cusps and the supporting tooth structure beneath the cusps have fractured away from the tooth. Tooth fractures like these can damage the tooth beyond repair, and the teeth sometimes have to be extracted or removed.